bourbon. The Whiskey Frontier. These are the reviews of the Bourbon Guild. Their 20-minute mission to explore strange new bourbons and old ones. To boldly taste them all. In this episode, the Bourbon Guild review James T. Kirk Bourbon. Space, space, space. Oh, boy. Uh, ben. What? Come on. What's your... Come on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome to a new edition of the Bourbon Guild Review Show. I'm Dutch. I'm Jules. I'm Lieutenant Commander Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> I am Commander Ben Richards, the Butcher of Uranus. <laughs> A small, ca- a small colony of Bakersfield is on Uranus. Okay. Oh. Anyway, anyway. anyway. You know what I detect? I detect stupidity. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, we haven't even named what we're reviewing yet. Exactly. Um, in this episode, everybody, we are going to a galaxy far, far away a long time ago. Wait, no. Wait, uh, we're, going, <laughs> we're going on a trek to the stars. What are you guys on? Some sort of a Star Trek? Oh, that um, is terrible. This, is, oh, this whole on. show is canceled. <laughs> We're on a galaxy quest, you idiot. Yeah. Yeah. They all had all the good ones have been canceled. So oh, uh, anyway, guys. Minus not minus. <laughs> let's get serious here. We're gonna have a hard time not dropping references every other sentence because we are reviewing the James T. Kirk Star oh, Trek baby. bourbon. Whatever oh, the heck that means. It means the captain of all captains. No. That's, that's Jean-Luc Picard. <laughs> that is Jean-Luc Picard. Even though I've got the old school USS Enterprise with go. the appropriate heading. Um, <laughs> but what, what, what are we drinking here? This is, It does have the Starfleet logo. It does say James T. Kirk. It does say straight bourbon whiskey. And it does say, believe it or not, aged 12 years. So we are drinking Holy wow. an aged stated bourbon here. Thing, wow. A thing of the past, right? 12 years. And when, like, 12 years, that's supposed to be the best, right? Yeah. Uh, sweet spot. Coming at us at... 90 proof or 45 percent alcohol it does feature very prominently down here on the gold bland, uh, gold band the phrase star trek on the back it also has the official star trek logo so somebody paid some money for some licensing rights right here but okay. did they pay money for good juice dun, dun, we're gonna have dun. to determine that right um so lieutenant commander can you detect anything in this bottle uh one second. Let what do you me, think? Uh, you got any stats? Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I detect stupidity. Oh, again, again. <laughs> oh, um, so that's about all we know from the bottle. I'm going to crack it they open. They act like they've never seen a tricarder. 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 I know. Really? Tricorder? Um, whatever. Oh, get it, <laughs> Commander. <laughs> Get it right, Commander. Commander. I can't even, you, can't, you can't even get the captain shirt. Right? Come on. <laughs> but you guys have the summer shirts on with the sleeves. I mean, come Jeez. on. This is, yeah. doesn't look very professional. All right, I'm going to crack it open. Let's stop being stupid and get some stats on this bourbon, Lieutenant Commander. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, Silver Screen <laughs> Bottling Company. Uh, the distiller is unknown, but there have been some rumors. MVP? Um, it's distilled in ten- Tennessee. <laughs> Tennessee, Tennessee, uh, Tennessee. Age twelve years. Can you, can you see uh, through that visor, or are you just reading this from like a readout? On dude, your... I, I can X-ray, see like the full dude, spectrum. <laughs> All right. Um, retail price sixty bucks. I think we paid sixty bucks. Yeah. Their phrase is "Go boldly, go, 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 go boldly, drink responsibly." <laughs> Did um, you say "gold boldly"? <laughs> this is based on a fictional character, not the actor. So right. it's like. I don't know. Um, it's but James T. Kirk is the character. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, really? Is the I mean, this is distilled in uh, Tennessee. They say it's ultra small batch assembled from choicest JTK barrels. I don't know what that means. Jesus. Well, his um, Android systems. Really and bad. then this is the quote from the website. Hand numbered and wax dipped. It's not wax dipped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it the bottle's supposed to come in a limited edition box. Did we get, like, a knockoff or something? No, I that's think- what I got. We just have a limited edition because this is not hand numbered. So we just oh, have okay. the regular one. All right. So so uh, the original was a uh, limited edition. The They have a lot of merchandising. They have a flask. They have a Why does that not glass, surprise me? And they got t-shirts. So um, again, it's uh, I guess Silver Bottling Company, um, Silver, Silver Screen Bottling Company. 
got the rights from CBS and <clears throat> yada yada yada. So does Tennessee mean this is Dickel? Is James D. Kirk supposed to be from Tennessee? No, he's from Idaho. Iowa. One of those Iowa. He's from Iowa. <laughs> he was born in Iowa. All right. Clearly not a nerd. Jules, get us our scoring criteria. All right. For all you uh, Trekkie fans and new fans of the Bourbon Get us Gills, to Warp It's time. Trekker. <laughs> Out there. I disagree with that. <laughs> we do have a 10-point grading system. We have uh, two points for its aroma <laughs> or the nose. Three points for its complexity of flavors. Two points for how drinkable it is, so it's pleasantness to drink, and three points for its uniqueness, with a bonus point for value, so value we try to base it off of its availability and price points. All right, guys, let's go boldly and live long and prosper. <laughs> I believe it was Gandalf who said, use the force, Harry. You're right. Yeah. Once again, uh, detect <laughs> idiocy. On what level in the spectrum? 10 out of 10. Is you there a actually, tachyon pulse? Can you pulse? actually see stupidity? Yes. Oh, wow. You can counteract it, it with says, a tachyon pulse. Here. fail. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> it smells horrible. <laughs> Don't taint the score. I'm sorry. Did you yeah. like my cool tricorder, though? I did. Can you... Hey, I'm staying in the. <laughs> Can you find out what's wrong with, with, <laughs> with Ben? Captain Ben? <laughs> He's not even a captain. He's a commander. It's the water in the Bakersfield. I'm ready something's to talk, not, guys. Wait, something's not I right, know. though. Hold on. Something's not right. I gotta give it a, another chance here. Are you, dis are you detecting a disturbance in the force? Man, I'm detecting something. <laughs> That's amazing. Are you guys ready to discuss our scores? Yes. All right. Preliminary scores. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Three out of ten. <laughs> I gave it a 3.5. Whoa. Dylan. I'm sorry, Lieutenant Commander Dylan. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> four. Wow. Ben. Wow. I'm sorry, Commander Ben. 3.5. Wow. We shouldn't even cheers to this. Yeah. No, we shouldn't. Yeah, we so, so, so we're something kinda, is wrong here. Something is wrong. There's a disturbance. I'm glad that I'm glad that we Can all. There's the a aroma? great disturbance in the force. I'm so just let's, gonna. Let's, Can I start with the Roma? I just let's I, kick it off with the Roma. I just I, let's get our scores, Ben. Zero. Wow. Whoa, zero. What? That's that's not right. That's not right. Zero? No, that's not right. Dylan, Nothing. Four, you didn't get anything. Hang on. Let's four. get our scores first, Dylan. Okay. I give it a one. I give it a one. Also. I give it a one. Point five. Okay, Ben. Launch into a zero. Yeah, Explain zero. to why. No, I'm gonna, I, I, well, before he explains, I'm going to say why he's wrong. Because the thing is, he's given higher scores yeah, on all the other stuff, right? So, I mean, okay, go for it. Something's Commander. wrong. Come on, Commander. Does do you only have one pip? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's a there's a row of pips. Dude, you got every, four every pips. Don't question my pips. You got four pips. That's captain. Captain. You're captain. You're captain. You're captain. You don't even know your own rank. <laughs> you That's why away. his score is invalid. He doesn't even know who his rank. You gotta take away those pips. Okay, okay, Ben. Let's hear it. Aroma, go. Maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe. Urine soaked men's room. Wow. Okay. That's immediately what no, I got. That's, that is that's, what that's, I got. That's like, what like that air of clean, like, like, like that, cleaning uh, products and urine stench. Let's that's what I got. Let's Let's hear it no. Okay. All so right. your room. <laughs> oh, oh. His chamber. Your quarters. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Fine. Dylan, Dylan. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, 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 all of the silliness aside, the, the, the reality is that <laughs> it's it's one out of two. Um, the problem, I think, was the overwhelming rye yes. that was yes. not that was completely, not appropriately completely. aged yes. for twelve years, and so the the rye funk, yes. the medicinal yeah. weird bitter smell, mm -hmm. just kind of over it, it overrides any of the kind of the sweetness that is yeah. trying to come through. Yeah. So if you can break through that, yeah, you can you can delineate the different types of smells like the slight sugar and slight oak. Yeah. But boy, that and that that citrus in there too uh, yeah that really? medicinal uh -huh. bitterness yeah. that 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 smell i felt like i opened up a, a bottle of like the old timer tylenol type of thing oh boy it is 
yeah. that's where I'm getting. There's like a sickening yeah. chemical like like that. Yeah. So you're docking away a point, point five even because of how unpleasant it was for you. Well, the thing is, I, I might come up to a point five because there is some goodness in there, but it's not what I was hit with. Mm. My sure. my, and that's, that's why fair. I started laughing as soon as we snosed it because I was like, whoa. Mm. And sure. honestly, my mind went to like when you're you're going to the airport and it's a busy ass airport and they don't <laughs> clean it often and you get that like you know cleanings products and and you mean spaceport or you know what if you've ever been to a sport <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> right, well, let's get let's get let's get Jules just, to yeah. yeah now for, uh, well so point five I mean I was I wasn't gonna take away a point or you know I'll any come up. points for it but point five. Uh, it was completely one note it wasn't that pleasant it was mostly leather for me so I was really getting a strong leather a leather note on there but then that's it if I were to tease it out uh, some kind of sweetness maybe honey but mostly leather. So. All right. So I, well, Ben, you, you came up to a point five. I came up you to came a point five. I'm, I think that's fair. It's, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's I don't fair. And I, I mean, I really, fair. Dylan, you summarized everything I was going to say. Like yeah. I got that rye. Right. I got a rye hit Absolutely. in the face and it washed everything else. But I, you could, you could kind of see, okay, there's some sweetness mm -hmm. here, maybe a little oakiness, but you know, you said something while we were tasting it, which is like something's wrong here Yeah. Mm -hmm. for a 12 year old bourbon. Like yeah. this is not. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's jump to complexity. Um, let's get our scores. I give it a 0.5. 0.5. Wow. I give it a one. I give it a one. Wow. I give it a one. I give it a one. I got nothing on the palate. <laughs> yep. like, I got some palate. I mean, I it tasted faintly like bourbon. Yeah. It wasn't particularly off putting. It just was so yeah. bland. No. Yeah. No. Same. Exactly. Okay. It just like nothing. Like whatever I was uh, smelling, like did not come through on the on the palate or the finish at all. So. You know, just completely muted. Yeah. So, so I just wanted to check to make sure it was twelve year because what the complexity and the flavor profile that I'm tasting is a sixteen month to two year rye bourbon. How do you give it a one? And well, we've given ones to you know very very young bourbon that had a lot of potential. I mean, if you think okay, about so what's the flavor you're pulling? On so you do get the oak. You do get a lot of medicinal rye though. That's the yeah, problem for a 12 year. Mm. But you do get the 12 year in in some in some capacity. It's not you know, it's not really a prominent, but you know, you get you get the you get the uh, molasses. You get a little bit mm. of that sugar. You get a little bit of that oak, but boy, I think I think you're being overwhelmed by the rye medicinal uh, flavor, I didn't even that, get that, that allowed you yeah. to uh, delineate things. So I'm telling you what what's wrong with you. I, I don't care what you say. I, I'm telling you what's wrong with you. So that's that's why I say I gave it a one. All right, All right ben. ben. I don't really have much to add. I uh, I really don't. Have much to add. <laughs> okay, well let's let's wow, get to the ben? next category: drinkability. Because despite all that, there's it's flavors extremely there. smooth. You like, I got no burn. See that? I gave it a 1.5. I gave it a 0.5. I gave it a 0.5. I gave it a 0.5. That's not... hypocrisy there. Yeah. <laughs> like you're saying, oh, I didn't get this. It's not pleasant. It's this and that. Oh, well, but it's 1.5. This paint thinner isn't bad. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 it was not Maybe it likes paint thinner. It was not off putting. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> on the palate. It should be off putting. It is so smooth, so easy to drink. Huh? <laughs> 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 Protected. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You guys are making me realize that I'm forgetting one of the fundamental questions, which is what I go for. Yeah, would course. you grab? Exactly. I mean, a 1.5 means you're that not, you're going to go grab this. This, this is, is not a good taste. You're right. Mean, you know what this smacks of? This smacks of something that they. I don't do smack. Well, I'm going to. Uh, hang on. This, I'm gonna this get, is something. It tastes like something that it was a sourced bourbon that. Didn't turn out the way someone wanted, yeah, but, and they're like, "Hey, let's do a marketing grant." Yeah, but but it's still to me, it's very drinkable. Like, there's I, nothing uh, hard okay. about drinking this. Like, okay. Subjectivity and action, but, astute beauty. You're never but, gonna drink yeah. this. But you're right. I'm never gonna drink. I am gonna drop it down to a one. All right. And quite honestly, can I bring up the elephant in the room? I don't recall any movie or television show of the original series where Kirk. Ha what was drinking or enjoying any bourbon? Am I maybe in Star Trek Four? The voyage uh, home went. No, they drink Cinta Halls. No, 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 that's, no. Next, that's generation. next generation. Next generation. But in one of the movies, he does bring yeah. um, uh, Spock. Oh, but that was Scotch. Scotch. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Uh, no, yeah. McCoy gave him that for his McCoy. birthday in Star yeah. Trek yeah. Three? Four. Yeah. Four. 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 Yeah. Because they're on this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's keep moving, guys. Let's get to the <laughs> next the category: about? uniqueness. That was for fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, unique, I don't do fun. <laughs> uniqueness. Um, it's a 12-year-old bourbon, and it has the name Star Trek on it. 
there's nothing in the flavor that's unique, but the but just mm -hmm. the branding gives me a 0.5. Wow. A 0.5? Total? Jesus, the fact that it came in a bottle meat with a cork means it's a 0. 0.5. I gave it a 2. It's Star wow. Trek bourbon. I gave it a 1.5. 1.5. I gave it a 2. It's above the market. It's above the I mean, guys, 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 marketing and bottle, that, that can maybe give you 0. 0.5 tops. Well, we'll I, I'm giving the subsidy. <laughs> you guys are full of it. You guys, the only reason, only reason this got higher than mine is because it says Star Trek on it. Completely. And it's got James T. Kirk. I am admitting to all of that. But that gets you to a 1.5. That's BS, But man. I'm breaking the rule of the 0.5 on the bottle. I, I am <laughs> going to because subsidy. of the marketing, the marketing, the marketing and I mean, the bottle. They're, they're paying the a lot for the licensing. Yeah. The Guys, marketing stuff. does not give you more than 0.5. Period. End of sentence. That's why this is a 0.5. Okay, okay. There's not you know much what? on the market that tastes as bad as this. That's unique. Okay. So you gave it a 2. Yeah. It's that's, above yeah. average I mean, unique. I'm saying it's middle of the road marketing. I'm not even saying. I'm actually thinking market. about going down. No, there's no. I, I'm actually thinking that. about going down. I mean, okay, the bottle, dude. It's the fact all that marketing. It's got the Federation label on it. It is on market. <laughs> That's a point five. Only totally sold on the That's market. That's a point five. It's got Star Trek. Come on, bullshit protected. There is nothing unique about the flavor of this bourbon. You're Zero. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. All right, You're all right. I'll bring it down to one. Yeah, me too. I'm going down. I'm staying at two. What the? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh Captain, Captain, Captain Ben up? thinks he Captain. can do whatever he wants. <laughs> All right, I don't want to talk about this. Let's get to value. The first duty is to the truth. <laughs> Sorry. Wrong Star Trek. But yeah, let's right. get Sorry. to the final. Would you guys want to say anything else about uniqueness? No. no. Okay. You guys are so full of it. But anyway, let's get to the bonus category for value. Zero. Zero. This is not Cheers. a pleasant bourbon. No. I'm not drinking it. Sorry. Sorry. Unanimity. I would have loved to enjoy this. Yeah, I mean, well, that's enjoyable. the pity of it all. It's yeah. like, even if this was a... A five. It would have been really cool because it's a Star Trek bourbon that's a five. But you know what's really sad though is they didn't have to try that hard for sourcing this. Like yes. sourcing a really good bourbon. Yes. And that's what's really sad. Agreed. So. Can yeah, I ben, you? ben, what you said earlier is exactly that. Somebody bought a bunch of really crappy juice and was like, well, how can we sell it? Yeah. Oh, we got this license. Let's I'm do it. I'm coming down on uniqueness. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What are you coming to? One. All right. There you go. <laughs> That's a big job. That's a big job. Right, guys. Honestly, we're talking about it. I'm getting more sad. Yes. So, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. guys, let's get our final tally here for James T. Kirk Bourbon. Ben, what'd you end up at? Three. Lieutenant Commander? Hold on. Let me check my tricorder one last time. Really? It says 3.5. <laughs> 2.5. And I ended up at a three as well. That's an all-time lowest. I think Four, so, right? our official bourbon, the official bourbon guild score. Four, the James T. Kirk Star Trek 12-year-old bourbon. This sad. is a 12-year-old bourbon that gets a three. Ugh, so sad. What? Wow. So sad. That's sad. So sad. It's not It's not our fault it's sad. It's I just want that to be clear. Not, it's yeah. not our fault. Exactly. It's depressing. It's so depressing. It is. It's so sad. Depressingly so bad, sad. guys. Yep. Uh, Anyway. They should be ashamed of themselves. I'm, I've never said that before, but I know seriously. You know right? what it is? It's like the the I have that lingering finish of that bitter met medicinal nastiness. I, yeah, I it, it's go. just coated my tongue. It's just not good. Oh, I need a mm. yep. Like I said, metaphasic shield around my tongue. <laughs> okay, on that super note, <laughs> let's, uh, let's take us out, Jules. Hey guys, well if you guys love our show, help our channel grow. Give us a thumbs up if you like that episode. Hit the subscribe button for more videos from the Bourbon Guild. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, our website. No matter what you're drinking, and if you're drinking in your holodeck bar, your 10 forward, you're on vacation on Risa, or if you happen to be in good old Starfleet headquarters in San Francisco, tip those bartenders no matter where you are in the universe. Bourbon Guild out. Okay, so those were all Next Generation references, and there's no money <laughs> in the Star Trek universe because they are above that. That's true. Okay, they beat me tap. out. Beat me no, out of this. Right no, now. Beat that's, me not out of this. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. What's your <laughs> well, wait, Deep Space Nine had money. There's money outside of the Federation. The Federation uses currency to trade with other races that still Like the Ferengi. Money. Yeah, yeah if you're Latin at Starfleet them. headquarters, you Latin don't have to pay them. for anything. Well, they still... Whatever, shut up. <laughs> it's not platinum. Uh, Enterprise, a bunch of two to beam out. There's no intelligent life down here. I think he needs to be beamed out by the traveler. <laughs>